Now we say, oh, equality, equality. We're not born equal. We're a different shape. We're different sizes. We have different colouring. Our colour palette is completely different. Our hair colour is different. You and I don't have an issue with that because we haven't got any. <laughs> but our colour of our eyes is different. The colour of our race, importantly, is different. Our skin, our race. These are things to celebrate. The French say, viva la difference. They're to celebrate, not to denigrate. And yet, what are we doing all the time? We're, we're confusing sameness with equality. We're saying we need to be the same. We don't want to be the same. We're not the same. So please let us be what we are and celebrate it. When you press for a decision, people know that they've got to make a decision. There's a certain amount of stress involved in that. And if you apply it negatively, like using the word don't, don't you think that's a good idea? A couple of things happen. First thing they get their back up, they think, well, he doesn't think I believe it. They could think, he thinks I'm an idiot. Why is he talking to me like that? Don't you think? Implying that I don't know anything. So if I were to come to you and say, well, do you feel that's a good idea? I'm not asking you or pressing you for a decision. I'm asking for your, for your opinion. Yeah. And people are more than happy to give you your opinion, often yeah. whether you want it or not. And a manager's out on the panel. Tell me about how I want it done, or whatever, where I want it done, or when I want it done, what equipment to use. Right? And he's chasing an outcome. It doesn't inspire you necessarily. It simply gives you a set of instructions that you need to follow. The difference between a manager doing that and the leader is simply this. The leader will explain why we're doing that.